The Istanbul Park for the 2006 Turkish Grand Prix, 5.4 kilometres, one of only three anti-clockwise circuits on the Grand Prix calendar. McLaren dominated this event last year. The man to beat this year is Michael Schumacher in the Ferrari. But he beat himself and failed to get pole position. He's already made two mistakes in turn one on new tyres. We're approaching it for a final chance. 190 miles an hour down to 80. Still he's fighting the car. He's been the quickest thing all through free practice, but the car looks very lively up to turn three. He specifically mentioned this next part of the track as one he very much enjoys. 80 miles an hour, build it up to about 120, down to 60 for turn four. The car will accelerate easily down the hill, but it'll understeer through turn five. Now he can really get on with it. Bring it to the left-hand side, 170 miles an hour. He'll use the kerb on the left as the braking point. Turns into the foot of the hill, the car will slow down more than normal. Now he can get on with it. The amazing four-part turn eight ahead of us, 180 miles an hour on the way in. You must kiss the next three apexes at 160 miles an hour. Traction control helping him apply exactly the right amount of power for a clean exit down the hill, 180 miles an hour towards turn nine. It's very wide. Carry a lot of speed through there. Ten is easy. It's uphill, a right-hander, and you're still accelerating hard. Down to 11. It looks quite tight, doesn't it? But it's easily full throttle with the amount of downforce he's now carrying. 180 miles an hour. Creeping up to 200 now. He's still tweaking the brake balance with his right hand. He knows it's heavy braking into turn 12. Down to just 70 miles an hour with five downshifts thrown in for good measure. 13 is immediately in his face. Now, don't try and steal too much on the apex of 14. You need a clean exit to catapult into that pit straight. It's second place on the grid for Michael Schumacher.